hit British period drama Bridgerton will be returning to our screens in the very near future for season 2, with fans of the show bursting at the seams for more of Lady Whistledown's gossip. And fans of Reggae Jean Page, who played the Duke of Hastings on the first season of our favorite show, are doubly excited. Stay tuned, as today we're discussing Page's new role on Netflix's latest offering, Surviving Paradise, a family tale. First up, let's take a quick look at Page's career so far. Undoubtedly, his biggest role to date is that of Simon Bassett, aka the Duke of Hastings on hit show Bridgerton. But Page has been around for a while, and you might also know him from the American legal drama For the People, in which he appeared in 20 episodes in the role of Leonard Knox. You might be surprised to learn that one of Page's earliest appearances was in the smash hit movie franchise Harry Potter. Daphne Bridgerton's man appeared in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, although it was only an uncredited role as a wedding guest. He's also appeared on British TV staples such as Casualty and Holby City, while having a regular role on the 10th season of Waterloo Road as Guy Braxton. The actor, who has also appeared in a couple of stage plays, last year made his Saturday Night Live debut as host, a milestone for any budding actor, British or American. You might also recognize Reggae Jean from his work on shows such as Fresh Meat, Roots, and Spark, while also appearing in the recent movie Sylvie's Love. And the next couple of years are set to be pretty big for the man who played Bridgerton Season 1's main protagonist with the upcoming movie The Grey Man, which is currently in post-production, as well as Dungeons & Dragons, which is set to drop next year. What's your favorite role of Paige so far? Let us know down below. So what's this new Netflix role all about? Let's see. While fans of Netflix hit Bridgerton will undoubtedly know that he'll not be returning for Season 2, they shouldn't fear. They can get their Paige fix soon enough. The actor was only ever contracted to show up in the first season of Bridgerton, which was one of the reasons why he took the role. He wanted to be free to work on other projects, which has obviously worked out for him considering the movies he's about to star in. But Bridgerton fans will be able to see, well, actually hear, Paige in the upcoming Netflix documentary Surviving Paradise, A Family Tale, which is all about the struggle for survival of animals in the Kalahari Desert. It basically sounds as though he's going to be the new David Attenborough, which is good enough for us. The new doc will run over 80 minutes, which means you'll have close to an hour and a half of Paige's blissful tones, which will serve as good news for all Bridgerton fans who are by now no doubt missing the velvety richness of his voice. Of course, we won't be seeing him on screen, and he's only providing the narration, but we are sure most people will listen to him rather than nothing at all, right? And Paige is not only in the upcoming documentary on the world's leading streaming platform, but also The Gray Man, which will also star Hollywood Lothario Ryan Gosling. This one will be with us this summer and will also star the beautiful Ana de Armas. Paige was spotted out on a date recently. Stay tuned to hear all about it. Paige had fans swooning recently as he stepped out onto the town with girlfriend Emily Brown. The dashing actor looked pretty dapper as he attended the Dunhill pre-BAFTA filmmaker's dinner with his other half, sporting a slick black tux. Some men look pretty daft in tuxedos, but not our man Reggae Jean. And he was almost outdone by his other half Emily, who is a copywriter and part-time footballer. Brown, who was first seen with Paige at the 2021 GQ Man of the Year Awards, looked beautiful in a metallic, figure-hugging outfit. The pair would have had Lady Whistledown racing to print her latest gossip piece had she been around to spot them out on the town. Which Bridgerton character would you like to date if you had the choice? Probably not Nigel Burbrook, we're guessing. What else do we know about the upcoming second season of Bridgerton? As we know, the second season will heavily focus on the love life of the oldest Bridgerton male, Anthony. And set to really shake things up is Simone Ashley, who will play newcomer Kate Sharma. Julia Quinn, the brains behind the Bridgerton novels, has recently been talking about the addition of Kate, saying that fans of the show will adore her, which we hope is true. The second season is one of the most anticipated shows on Netflix this year, and the addition of Kate will only serve to spice things up even more, as Anthony Bridgerton is forced to find a suitable wife. The upcoming installment will focus on Quinn's second novel, of which there are nine, and the storyline will involve Ashley's character heavily. Apparently, Kate Sharma and her sister will be vying for the attention of Anthony, but according to Quinn, it's the character of Kate that fans will possibly be most excited about. She said, A lesser actress might have allowed Kate to devolve into a taming of the shrew caricature, but Simone tempers Kate's fierceness with all of the vulnerability and devotion to family I worked so hard to bring to the character. Kate is a very different heroine from Daphne, but I think viewers are going to adore her. Once the world sees Simone Ashley in action, we'll be clamoring for a Kate Sharma action figure. We must admit, Kate sounds great, and we hope Anthony doesn't hate her. Hey, we rhymed. Are you excited for the second season of Bridgerton? Next up, we're discussing where the Duke of Hastings might be in the upcoming season. Stick around. So Paige won't be reprising his role in the hit show, but we're sure it will still be great. Obviously, we would rather he was still in it, but I guess we can't have everything, right? But where could he possibly be? We know he's no longer the star attraction of Bridgerton as the second 
season will focus on Anthony, but we wonder what explanation Daphne will be giving to us as to his whereabouts. The Hastings won't appear as much on our screens, but Daphne is still definitely returning, probably to give Anthony some sort of scolding for something or other he's done. While visiting the Bridgerton clan's home, she'll surely make reference to the Duke. It will probably be something simple, such as travel. It wasn't uncommon for the aristocracy to take prolonged trips during the Regency era, or he could simply be tending to his estate. We know he planned to leave England midway through season one as his budding romance with Daphne became too much for him to handle, so he's no stranger to upping sticks, but we are intrigued as to where he's gone and what excuse Daphne gives. Could he have been written out of the show completely with something more sinister? We shall have to wait and see. Give us your predictions as to where Simon Bassett is in season two. And finally, a bit of Netflix news. Stay tuned. The sensational true story of Anna Delvey, con woman extraordinaire, has recently had Netflix fans glued to their screens in the superb Inventing Anna. Julia Gardner of Ozark fame plays the lead role of Anna Delvey, or Sorokin, depending on who you talk to, and the real Anna has been speaking out about the hit show recently. Sorokin, who is currently being held by Immigration and Customs Enforcement in upstate New York, said recently of the show, I think I'm more self-aware of the way I come across, not all the time, but I just don't think I'm so brazen and shameless. I don't think I order people around as much. Obviously, people who come across the way she does never actually see it themselves and find it hard to look rationally at their own persona. Delvey, formerly Sorokin, committed a slew of crimes in the mid-2010s, defrauding friends, banks, hotels, and basically anybody she thought she could manipulate, and the list was long. The show has been super successful so far and became Netflix's most-watched English-language show the week directly after its release last month. Delvey went on to say, I personally moved on a very long time ago, and I'm absolutely not in the same place, but I'm also being affected by the way the world sees me and by what people think of me. It's hard to take someone who's been convicted of attempted grand larceny seriously, so we don't actually know if she's moved on or not. As always, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to join us next time for some more fun and games. Also, why not like and share today's video? And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, what on earth are you waiting for? Bye, guys.